Today on Reese Dixon, we are making these glass plate flowers for your yard. Hi everybody, it's Teresa with ReeseDixon.com. I have the coolest idea for you today. I live in an area of the country where there's lots of kind of picker places. Um, it's very rural and so you'll go to these stores where there's lots of salvage. And at one of these stores I found a plate or a flower that was made out of plates to go in your yard. And as I was looking at it I thought, mm, I think I can do better. So I'm going to take a spin on that and make these beautiful flower yard ornaments out of antique glass plates and it's way easier than you would think. So I've got my assemblage of plates here. You, the best place to get these are thrift stores, garage sales. It doesn't have to be expensive or valuable. It just needs to look cool. So this one I actually got at the dollar store. And then I just tried to find a bunch of different sizes and colors so I would make some nice contrast. Then you have to drill a hole in it. So let me get close up and show you how to drill a hole into your glass plate. I'm going to start out really slow because I want my bit to get purchased. I want it to, you know, kind of make a spot where it can stick in the plate. So I'm going to start slow and then just keep it steady. If you go too fast, your glass will break. If you put too much pressure, your glass will break. And if it gets too hot, your glass will break. So you want nice cool water with that towel to support the plate. And then just take your time. This is going to take you a good 10 minutes depending on the material of your plate. There we go. So the water is super cloudy because of all the glass dust. But there you can see my perfect little hole. So I just have to do that a whole bunch more. So the only trick to drilling a hole in glass, it sounds like it's such an impossible thing to do, but the trick is just to have the right drill bit. So this is the one that I like. It's like a little spade style bit. And you just have to go to your hardware store in the drill bit section and look for one that says glass and tile. It's that simple. So I got one that was 3 18ths of an inch because that works with the bolts that I'm going to use. So then I went and I got some two inch long bolts that were three eighteenths of an inch wide. Um, and I got some that were three so that as I stack these plates on top of each other, I've got lots of room to work with. So now I'm just going to take my plates that all have the holes drilled in them and thread that bolt through so that the head is on the very bottom. And I'm gonna glue these plates together. Now, since I'm having them be yard ornaments, you have to make sure that your glue is weatherproof and that it will work with glass. So what I'm gonna use is actually not glue at all. It's a silicone and you can find this with um, like the caulk guns that you would find in your hardware store or the glass repair stuff. It's basically just like a clear rubbery plastic that when it dries will adhere both sides together. So you would use this stuff like if you need to weather strip a window or waterproof a tub or something like that. So I'm just going to spread this all around the edge where the plates are going to touch and then I'm going to stack it all on that bolt and then let it dry. So while my plates are drying, and it should only take about 20 minutes or so, I'm going to get my little stakes ready. So this is just a copper pipe that I cut to how high I want my little flowers to stand off the ground. And I, it was totally arbitrary. I just eyeballed it. But I'd say this is, what, maybe three feet so? Um, so I cut it to that size, and then on one end I put a cap. So these are going to be in the plumbing section right along the copper pipe. You just have to make sure that you get the same size cap as you do size pipe. 
and I got the cap so that I can hammer it into the ground like a tent stake. Um, and this makes a nice flat surface for your mallet. So the only other thing you need to do with these is to drill a hole that is the same size as your screws that are holding your plates on. So in my case, it's 3 16ths of an inch. And so I just used a regular drill bit. I didn't get anything fancy. And then your bolt will go right through there. So let me show you how it assembles. Um, I'm gonna be digging just a little bit of a hole so that I can get it way down deep and then hammering it in place with my mallet. So once I've got my stake in the ground, then I will assemble my flower. So I take my bolt and run it through my pipe and imagine this is in the ground because you don't wanna to have to hammer it when the glass plates are on the front. So my bolt and then here's all my plates glued together and I'm gonna go through all those layers. And then I'll have my drawer pull to screw on the very tippy edge to hold it all tight and in place, like so. Now, it just worked out perfect to have the bolt be two inches to go through all of my plates and the pipe. For most of the plates flowers that I made, I ended up using a three inch bolt and that would have left a lot of bolt left over. So in that case, you just have to use the nut that comes with the bolt and then screw it in. Screw that bolt up flush with the plate and then put the drawer pull on the top just for decoration. So I'm gonna go get this in the ground and then show you the finished product. So here's my glass flowers all assembled and in their place and I think they are so beautiful especially on a crazy sunny day like this they just glimmer and cast beautiful shadows and they provide so much color especially here in the middle of our California drought a lot of things aren't green and beautiful this year but you can still have some beautiful spots of color and glistening beautifulness in your yard and upcycle those less than lovely glass plates into something that you're really gonna love. So I hope that this was inspiring, that you'll give it a try. Please leave me any comments if you've got questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's lots more coming up and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.